What's up guys? So I uh, just want to show some more sketches I've done uh, just like for fun. Um, so I already showed you these right here. I think I already showed you these. These, these, these came out pretty nice. I like the way this one came out. Um, I did this one afterwards. I wasn't sure how his hands were structured so I had to go back to the comic books and um, see how he's really designed by John Romita because a lot of people design him differently right so I like the way John Romita did it because um, the design uh, looks more like um, like he has flexible armor if that's a way of describing it because some people just draw him like he's wearing armor but like like the armor is like in pieces right so um, the way John Romita did it um, I was trying to get like a feel for for them on, so I did a few more. I did this one. This is more of the John Romita style. See, um, you can't really see muscles, um, just like the basic shape of muscles, but it's really like armor. And then he's got these funny, funny joint systems wherever there's articulation. And then this piece right here is like a flexible plastic or whatever it is. And um, so, yeah, I was just trying to get a feel for for Nimrod. Also, his hand is not two pieces like that. It's like it's like he's wearing mittens. So, like three fingers are supposed to be here, but they're like unified, and then one finger, and then a big thumb. So that that's the way um, he drew him. Also, this part right here is the way he drew it. Uh, so I tried to stay true to his uh, design. And um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool character. So I hope they they one day make a bath, a really good bath out of him. He's an uh, X Men villain. I bought this comic book. It's pretty cool. I bought it because he was on it, but um, but when I opened up the uh, comic book, he, he's not even in the comic book. So pretty much um, the cover is the only thing. But um, I like this um, Sentinel. This, this looks like the Sentinel from the Toy Biz, the first one, which um, I want to get, uh, hopefully soon. Um, and that's that's basically um, um, <laughs> we got his name already, um, Nimrod. And um, as you can see, the artist here drew him like he's wearing pieces of armor. So everyone draws him differently. I just I was looking online and. There's a guy that did a custom, and I took some, I took some of the pictures just for reference. So he took, he used a, a Hulk, a Hulk action figure, the Gray Hulk, and he turned it into a Nimrod. It, it came out really, really nice. It looks like he he did it a long time ago too. So, but uh, yeah, I just want to show the drawing. Some, um, yeah, that's it. Just some really rudimentary, like very. You know, I might actually paint over this, so I might I might paint this one or this one, or just for fun, like one of, one of these, or I might just paint this one. I don't know, so I'll choose which one, but um, I'll try to do it on Photoshop and paint over and make him look like he's real. But uh, that should be pretty hard. So um, I'm doing some paint tests and um, for. For um, customizing action figures, so I'm using oils, and um, I'm doing some shading oils. So what I do is I I put a basic color on, and then uh, the highlights will be sh shading and oil. And I'm, I'm doing tests on that. Um, you have to put a uh, pledge coat over the surface after you paint it with the with the um, base coat which uh, which is white right now what I'm using so um, I painted this um, spare body I have a rogue and um, what you call it so I painted her white and then um, I put a coat over a pledge and um, that makes it very slippery surface because when you use the oils you want them to blend and slip really on easy and softly so the whole purpose of the pledge is to to help the oils blend better. So um, 
I put some on then I had to put some more on because I, I didn't know that when you, you spray the pledge on unless I'm having airbrush problems you got to put on a put on like a quite a I put a little bit in a cup and then uh, it turned out it wasn't enough when I, when I saw it dry on the figure it, it was uh, missing in parts uh, some some parts were like glossy and some parts weren't so so I had to go back and uh, overspray with more pledge and then um, and now I'm just waiting for it to dry so then tomorrow I'll probably do some tests I did do some tests with uh, without the pledge and just the base coat white on the figure on one leg and it looks nice but um, it didn't blend perfectly like I wanted to the, the white was kind of grainy I don't know maybe I'm having airbrush problems but um, the white was really grainy and um, and it just looked like very like a coarse very coarsey surface so I might be having airbrush problems um, but then again uh, it's because I'm looking at it with a really magnifying glass I don't know so I, I don't know what's going on but it doesn't work so good even the um, the guys who use it in the uh, YouTube say you have to use pledge and then you use oils so I just wasn't following the rules and so um, I guess um, we'll see what happens um, hopefully I'll get a really nice like bluish slight blue um, shading around the muscles uh, the surface is plain and white so it should look really nice um, I can't I don't know what example to give but the storm the the white version of storm where she's painted all white and, and there's bluish tints all over her body uh, it's sort of like that um, so that's the effect I'm trying to accomplish all right so yeah stay tuned for some more videos guys um, if you guys have a they fit. If you if you guys want me to paint one of these, um, just let me know. I'll probably paint this one and uh, maybe this one. I don't know, but maybe this one and uh, yeah, maybe this one, this one, or this one. So who knows? All right, so it's a. Uh, Keep collecting.